Welcome to this week's episode of Kid Lit 6. Each week we get to spend six minutes together celebrating book birthdays, connecting with authors, and getting lots of great book recommendations to add to our reading wish list. As a reminder, all the books mentioned in the episode are listed down below, so if you hear about a book that sounds interesting, you can look down there to get all the details. If you're new here, we'd recommend going back and watching previous episodes. It's a great way to fill up your reading wish list. And if you've been here for a while, welcome back. And now on to this week's episode. The end of October means World Series Baseball. Here are two books set during the World Series. The first is The Hope of Elephants. Cass and her parents haven't let her dad's cancer stop them from having a good life, including going to one World Series game a year. But will they be able to this year? The next book is The Magical Imperfect. This is set against the backdrop of the 1989 San Francisco earthquake and the World Series about a boy who is selectively mute and a girl who won't leave her house because of a skin condition. Hello, my name is Alda P. Dobbs and I am the author of Barefoot Dreams of Petra Luna, which came out September 2021. And two weeks ago, I launched the sequel to that book called The Other Side of the River. Both books follow Petra Luna, and Petra was inspired by my great-grandmother and her story of escaping the Mexican Revolution back in 1913. Barefoot Dreams of Petra Luna follows Petra Luna as she crosses the desert and with her family, and she seeks refuge in the United States. And in The Other Side of the River, Petra is now in Texas in a refugee camp and goes on to San Antonio where 30,000 refugees uh, found home there in San Antonio. Both books, like I said, are inspired by family stories. And another book that I recommend, a middle grade book that also was inspired by family story is Ruth Behar's Letters from Cuba. And here's a, a shot of the, of the book cover, beautiful book cover and the story it's a universal story, just like Petra Luna. You have a little girl named Esther who also struggles to, you know, get to a new place and faces a culture shock, and but learns that she has to adapt and still stay true to her roots, to her culture, and to her people. So I highly recommend Ruth Beja's Letters from Cuba. Thank you and have a good day. <music> book first comes out is called its publication date, but it can also be called its book birthday and that's a lot more fun, so we're going to go with that. So let's get ready to celebrate a few of this week's book birthdays. First up is The Bridge Battle. Evan and Jesse from the Lemonade War series are back. They've been through a lot together, but now it's time for their next adventure. Evan is a natural leader and has always been great at making friends, but now he finds he's at the mercy of a playground bully and he finds himself acting in ways he's never acted before. Science-loving Jessie wants to win a bridge building competition, but she finds herself at a camp with kids who believe fairies are more real than science, and she is also soon acting in ways that puzzle her. Is this the new normal for Evan and Jessie, or will they return to their old ways? Next up is Looking for True. Gladys and Jude live in the same small town and go to the same school, but they could not be more different. Gladys is small, tiny, eccentric, and a walking dictionary. Jude likes to keep his thoughts and feelings to himself. They are definitely not friends. But when they discover that the new dog in the neighborhood is being mistreated by its owner, they join the same team and they hatch a plan to rescue the dog. Will they be successful? Next up is Controlled Burn. Maya's parents say she's lucky that she was able to pull her sister out of her house in time. But is it really so lucky when Amelia's in the hospital with burns all over her body? And is it really so lucky when Maya is the one at fault for the fire? Maya is sent to Northern Minnesota to stay with her grandparents while her sister heals. But she quickly realizes that she can travel away from where the fire happened, but the demons and the feelings of guilt just aren't going to leave her. Maya needs to figure out how to overcome these feelings. But what if she can't? The best way to celebrate a book birthday is by reading the book. So head to your local library or your nearest bookstore and pick up your copy of these books today.
I stood absolutely aghast when I saw the cars crashing. Do you think you can create your own sentence with the word aghast? Try creating your own sentence and then share it with us on social media or put it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this week's Kidlet 6. We hope you found lots of great books to add to your reading wish list. We'll see you again next week with lots more book recommendations. In the meantime, have a great week and happy reading.